get ready for our memory verse. Repeat after me. Are you ready? Let's go. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Romans 12, 10. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so excited. We're starting a new series and it's on honor. Honor is letting someone know how valuable they really are. And today's story is David and Goliath, one of my favorite stories. I just love it. And you can find that in 1 Samuel. So let's go ahead and get started. But I bet you want to know who my friends are. So I've got Isaac, and he's playing David. And I've got Adrian, he's playing Goliath. And we're going to show you how David shows honor to God. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The Philistines were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. And their biggest, tallest, baddest soldier came out, and his name is Goliath, and this is what he said. Bring out your best warrior. Oh man, that's scary. <sighs> and so Saul's soldiers, they didn't know what to do because this guy was super, super giant. Then he says, if your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves forever. Oh man, but something really cool happened. David happened to come onto the scene just to check on his brothers, and he did. And he was asking how they were doing. And then he overheard everybody talking about Goliath and how big and strong he was. And David's like, no, I've been scared just for a minute. You wanna know why? Because David knew that he had God with him. So he went up to King Saul and he said, King Saul, I'll fight that giant for you. And King Saul's like, you're just a little tiny boy. And David's like, I know, but I'm strong. And I fought a bear and a lion. And I kept my father's sheep safe. This giant doesn't have anything against me because I've got God on my side. So David went over and he put on Saul's armor and it was way too big. And David's like, I don't need this armor because like I said, I have God. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? When we know that God is with us, we can overcome anything. Just like David's about to, we're gonna see how. So David goes over to the river and he picks up five stones. Five stones? I mean, Goliath has like a sword and like all this armor. What in the world? How, how is David gonna defeat Goliath with stones? But that's right, he trusts God, right? Okay, let's see what happens next. So David marches onto the field and Goliath starts laughing. Ha 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 ha, boy. He's like, who's this guy and what's he gonna do to me? Oh my goodness. And so David's like, silly giant, I've got God on my side. And today, I'm gonna defeat you. So David took out his slingshot and his stone and he began to aim and he aimed right at Goliath's forehead and boom, it hit him right in the middle of the forehead. And there he goes, down. That big giant was defeated by David. And David was small. But you know what David had that Goliath didn't? <laughs> you guys are so smart. That's right, he had God. And in our story, we can see that David gave God the honor because he knew how valuable it is to have God in our lives. Okay, boys and girls, that's our Bible story for today. And this month, as you know, we're talking about honor. And it was so awesome to see how David showed honor to God because God is so valuable to us, right? So I want you to show honor to someone that is valuable to you in your home this week. Before we go, I want to go ahead and pray with you. So close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, I thank you so much for today. Thank you for telling us how to honor others. And we love you. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time.